Welcome back to The Disco, FDA's Drug Information Soundcast in Clinical Oncology, First Edition, brought to you by FDA's Division of Drug Information, in partnership with FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence. Today, we'll provide a quick update on two recent FDA cancer drug approvals. On June 13, 2024, the FDA granted accelerated approval to Repotrectinib, brand name Octyro, for adult and pediatric patients 12 years and older with solid tumors that have a neurotrophic tyrosine receptor kinase gene fusion, are locally advanced or metastatic, or where surgical resection is likely to result in severe morbidity, and that have progressed following treatment or have no satisfactory alternative therapy. Efficacy was evaluated in Trident 1, a multicenter, single-arm, open-label, multi-cohort trial in 88 adult patients with locally advanced or metastatic neurotrophic tyrosine receptor kinase gene fusion positive solid tumors who had either received a prior tyrosine receptor kinase, tyrosine kinase inhibitor, or were tyrosine kinase inhibitor naive. All patients were assessed for central nervous lesions at baseline and patients with symptomatic brain metastases were excluded. Tumor assessments were performed every eight weeks. The major efficacy outcome measures were overall response rate and duration of response according to RESYST version 1.1 as assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review. Confirmed overall response rate in the tyrosine kinase inhibitor naive group was 58% and 50% in the tyrosine kinase inhibitor pretreated group. Median duration of response was not estimable in the tyrosine kinase inhibitor naive group and 9.9 months in the tyrosine kinase inhibitor pretreated group. The most common adverse reactions reported in more than 20% of patients were dizziness, dyskesia, peripheral neuropathy, constipation, dyspnea, fatigue, ataxia, cognitive impairment, muscular weakness, and nausea. This review used the assessment aid, a voluntary submission from the applicant, to facilitate the FDA's assessment. On June 21, 2024, the FDA granted accelerated approval to Adagrasib, brand name Krasati, plus Cetuximab, for adults with CRAS G12C mutated locally advanced or metastatic colorectal cancer, as determined by an FDA-approved test, who have received prior treatment with fluoropyrimidine, oxaliplatin, and arenatecan-based chemotherapy. Efficacy was evaluated in CRYSTAL-1, a multicenter single-arm expansion cohort trial. Eligible patients were required to have locally advanced or metastatic CRAS G12C mutated colorectal cancer previously treated with fluoropyrimidine, oxaliplatin, and arenatecan-based chemotherapy, and a VEGF inhibitor if eligible. Patients were treated with adagrasib 600 mg twice daily plus cetuximab administered either biweekly or weekly. Tumor assessments were performed every six weeks. Adagrasib discontinuation required cetuximab discontinuation, however, patients could continue adagrasib if cetuximab was discontinued. The major efficacy outcome measures were confirmed overall response rate and duration of response, according to RESYST version 1.1, assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review. In the 94 enrolled patients, overall response rate was 34%, all responses were partial responses, and median duration of response was 5.8 months. 31% of responding patients had a duration of response of at least 6 months. The most common adverse reactions reported in more than 20% of patients were rash, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, fatigue, musculoskeletal pain, hepatotoxicity, headache, dry skin, abdominal pain, decreased appetite, edema, anemia, cough, dizziness, constipation, and peripheral neuropathy. Full prescribing information for these approvals can be found on the web at fda.gov slash drugs at FDA. Healthcare professionals should report serious adverse events to fda.gov slash medwatch. Follow the Division of Drug Information on X at FDA Drug Info and the Oncology Center of Excellence at FDA Oncology. Send your feedback via email to fdaoncology at fda.hhs.gov. Thanks for tuning in to the Disco Burst Edition.